Taganini and in today's video I am super excited to announce my new product called Skin. I've been working on it for a few months already and I use this continuously on my editing work and I find that it tremendously helped me edit my images and bring them to the next level with minimum effort and great results. So the product's called Skin, is right here. And it's an action. Actually, there are three actions within the panel. One for a close-up and one for a full body. So if your image is a full body image or an image where the subject is you know, more further from the camera, then use the full body. If the subject is closer to the camera, like this beautiful lady, then you use the close-up one. But both can be used inter interchangeably. You don't have to, you're not, you know, you don't have to use the full body with the full body or um, a close-up with a close-up. Be a rebel and do what's best for you. So, to begin with, I'm gonna show you how this works. So here I have my, you know, if I'm starting on the background layer, I'm just gonna run here. So I select the close up and I'm gonna run, clicking this button. And in a second, we're gonna have here, the, the black layer where we're gonna be painting with our brush and our white, um, you know, make sure you reset this, make sure you're using the white. And uh, also here, make sure your flow is set, let's say 10% and you're gonna be using a soft round brush, just a generic one that comes with Photoshop. You don't need any fancy brush, just that one will do. So here I'm gonna show you how to apply the, um, the amazing thing that I created. And it's now 8.44 p.m. and I'm gonna show you how fast you can um, smooth the skin, uh, smooth the wrinkles, and just make the image a little bit more uh, you know, adjusted, not that she needed, but not that she needs, but you know, editing images is fun. So here, well, it's actually 8.45 now, just changed the clock, I talk too much. So here I'm gonna show you, uh, I'm gonna be working on her forehead. I'm gonna get zooming real close so you get, um, you know, to see this lady very close. So now here, I'm just gonna go over under her eye and on this side here. So the beauty of this tool is that you can really work on the areas that you think you need some work. So if you don't wanna work on this area, you don't have to, but if you want to just drag your brush over there and do as many passes as you think you need. There's no right or wrong. So here you see like there's, there's also this scratch on her skin you Can just quickly run over it and it's gonna remove um, I'm not sure if it's gonna remove this one hair here, but it's gonna be smooth for sure. So the goal is not to cancel uh, the texture and her appearance, but just to give a, a, a layer of, you know, as if she had a little makeup or, you know, better lighting. So here on her eye, you can see like some wrinkles. This is great also because some people have like, uh, she doesn't have it, but some people have uh, quite deep uh, eyes and sometimes you can see the wrinkles quite prominent there. So this tool will be great for you to fix that. So here you can just go in between her eyebrow. You see there's a little wrinkle here. And yeah, the skin is done. I've done this in two minutes. You can see here the before and after, just on her face. Uh, and I think, you know, this is great. If you think you've done too much, just invert the brush here to the black uh, brush and you pass a little there. So I think I did a little too much here on that other eye. So I just brought back some texture and you see here the difference. Now I'm gonna show you here on her hands, you can see the, you know, you can see some veins and more texture here. I'm gonna be using the white brush over the, the mask layer so it can reveal the, you know, the skin smoothing. And 
here. You have it. And just make sure you go all over the body as well, just so everything is consistent. If you want to go more, let's say let's use 100%, I think it's too much. So just keep in mind, uh, be mindful of how you want to use this. Uh, sometimes less is more. So here, you know, you don't really want to cancel all her wrinkles but if you wanted you can as you see here now let me move all this and here too so if you wanted to do this you also can but I think that's a bit too much so I'm gonna just bring back her tag the texture and to a point where I think it would be nice. Yeah, and there you have it. Uh, the image is pretty much edited. Now you could just run your frequency separation to fix, you know, skin tone or, you know, you can use dodge and burning. And that's it. I hope you guys like this tool and uh, I hope it's useful. I, I love it. I use it all the time. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to share and subscribe. You know, the more you share, the more I will be creating for you. And yeah, have fun. And let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Bye now.